I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. We have a very interesting question here based on matrix transformations. We are considering invariant points and lines. The question here is matrix A equals to 2, 1, K minus 3 represents transformation T. Find the values of K in the transformation so that T has no invariant lines through origin. You can pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So when we are saying find equation through origin, that means we're looking for equation of a line of the form y equals to mx. Now we are having this transformation on such a line which goes through the origin and after the transformation we want them to have the same slope. So if I have the transformation A on any line which is going through the origin, I could actually uh, write this as, let me write this in parametric form, right? So this equation in parametric form can be written as If we write x equals to t, then y equals to mt, correct? So that becomes the equation in parametric form. So we're going to apply this transformation on the parametric form of the equation as should be done, right? So here, a is given to us as 2, 1, k minus 3. So this 2 by 2 matrix, when you get the transformation, the image will be what? The image will be 2t plus mt and that would be kt minus 3mt. Now we are looking for the transformation so that t has no invariant lines. Now let's first look into what are invariant lines. Invariant lines means we should have same slope, right? So, so invariant means same slope. Okay, so let's equate this to the slope m. So before that, from these two, we get two different equations, which is x equals to 2t plus mt, right, and y equals to kt minus 3mt. Now from the second equation, we can write x as t common, we get 2 plus m, here we can take t common, and we get k minus 3m, okay. So combining these two equations, we get equation of the line. So we can write t equals to x over 2 plus m, right? And we have y equals to t times k minus 3m. So t is this. So we can write this as, let me write k minus 3m first. And t is x over 2 plus m. So from here, we get y equals to k minus 3m over 2 plus m x. So the slope here should be k minus 3m. Equate slope m equals to k minus 3m over 2 plus m, right? So once we equate slope, this is what we do to find invariant points, right? So, we are looking for invariant line, right? So, invariant line through origin should have same slope. Now, we are going to solve this equation. Cross multiply, so we have m times 2 plus m equals to k minus 3m. That is 2m plus m square 
bringing k to this side and 3m also, we get plus 3m minus k equals to 0. So, which gives us m square plus 5m minus k equals to 0. Now, when we say find the values of k in the transformation so that t has no invariant lines, that means the value of m should not exist, right? So that means we'll equate the term b square minus 4ac, right? And if this term is less than 0, then there is no real solution, right? So, so this b square is 5 here, so 5 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus k. That should be less than 0. Now, so 5 squared is 25 and that is plus 4k less than 0. So that means that taking 4k or uh, 25 to this side, we can write 4k is less than 0 or, or rather minus 25, okay? We'll take 25 on this side. So that means k is less than minus 25 over 4. Correct? So the value of k is less than minus 25 over 4, which is uh, 6 point something. Correct? So which is 6 point something. So if you are looking for integer values, let me write down, find the values. We'll write k as k belonging to integers, right? So we're looking for integer values in such cases, right? So the value of k is less than minus 25 over 4, which is, you can say that the result is that k is less than, so if it is less than minus 6 point something, the integer value will be 7, less than or equal to minus 7. Does make sense to you? So if the k value is less than or equal to minus 7, then we have no solution in this particular case. Perfect. So we get that the value of k here is, so our answer here is that k is less than minus 7 less than equal to it could be minus 7 also since if I put here minus 7 then 7 times 4 is 28 right and 25 minus 28 will be less than 0 does it make sense so that becomes the solution in the given case perfect so for no invariant lines solution here is that the value of k is less than or equal to minus 7. Perfect. So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, look at more of such videos on our playlist and I hope that will give you a complete concept on this topic. Thanks for your time and all the best.